Private virtual networks, known as VPN, are one of the most reliable security services, and their use has become more and more popular. The best VPN offer from the box anti malware and adblock features, realize their own connection protocols for better performance, and of course, offer ultimated internet bandwidths from dozens of locations around the world. Hi, I'm Masha, and today we are talking about VPN from Avast. Yes, the same Avast you are thinking of. Since 1998, based in Czech Republic, Avast has been developing antivirus software. To make online browsing safer, the company offers a separate service, Avast Secure Line VPN. In this review, we will check the security features and available connection options together. We'll explore its mobile and desktop apps interface and perform several tests to check the protection level and performance speed. The installation process is nothing new, download, open, click install now, and wait to finish. On other platforms, it may require additional steps like visiting Play Market on Android or Apple Store on iOS devices, but nothing special or difficult even for inexperienced users. The application works with both wireless and wired networks and can be installed on devices which meet the minimal requirements about OS version. For desktop, it will be Windows 7 or Mac OS Sierra, while the mobile client Android 6.0 and iOS 13 respectively. Now the interface, let me start with Windows. The main window is not scalable and has present dimension that cannot be changed. In addition, there is low functionality tray app where you can only initiate a connection to VPN or call the main window. There is usual VPN application, the main space provided to connect and server selection buttons. But I still don't understand why I have to make extra clicks. Why is the server list always hidden when at least half of this screen is reserved just for a background image? But this is a common problem for for almost all VPN services, not just secure line. The menu button will look familiar to users who already have experience with other products by Avast. For others, I note that only settings, subscription management and help materials tab are really useful here. The rest are either marketing tricks or minor options. In settings, despite the presence of four sub-items, there are not so many options. In VPN mode, you can configure the behavior of the client, kill switch and smart VPN mode, which I will review later. In general, there are two options show notifications and auto run plus language selection and consent to receive better version. And it's interesting for me to know how many users take this, considering that secure line doesn't have a free version and connection stability is required for VPN services. Anyway, there is a choice of connection protocol – automatic, mimic or open VPN. The last item is a really convenient and possibly exclusive solution for VPN that allows you quickly add other devices to your license. You just need to enter on the second device code generated on the device with the already activated license. This eliminates requires for your credentials to add new devices to the subscription. Now let's take a look at the Mac version. It is almost a clone of the Windows app with minimal variations. I find it positive because many VPN services make their apps unique for each OS, which negatively affects the UX. Regarding this, Avast's conservatism is more appropriate, in my opinion. The only technical difference in the macOS and iOS apps is in using IPsec connection protocol instead of OpenVPN. Regarding the Android interface, everything is as usual here. A huge connect button and a server selection below it. Here Avast store servers alphabetically but within its own region list, which are not arranged in the arbitrary order and unavailable for any customization. For example, to select a location from the Europe region, you need to scroll through the entire list of the location in the North America region. Unlike the PC version, locations from the same country cannot be grouped and each one is displayed as a separate entry. And in addition to the specific sorting, all of us apps don't support creation of selected or favored servers. So navigation in the servers list is not optimized and requires an update. Among the features of the Android version, it is worth noting to percent of kill switch, limited edition of smart rules, and split channeling. The latter allows you to set which app's traffic will be redirected through the VPN while the rest will work as usual. These are really convenient features, yet many competitors have already implemented them in their desktop clients, while Secure Line has done it only in mobile app. In addition to applications, Avast Secure Line is also available as extensions for Chrome and Firefox browsers. But unlike for example OneScribe, where the extension is a standalone application, here they just implement a quick interaction with secure line VPN. They are not available for download in the usual ways and available only through a direct link from the secure line desktop app. Note that the extension doesn't work if you remove the subscription for 
the desktop version as a whole. The one independent setting available in the extension is the WebRTC Blocker Switcher, which, like Kill Switch, is displayed by default. Avasa Cure Light VPN manages to balance performance and simplicity of use, therefore it attracts even those who were not familiar with private networks before. It offers its customer 58 locations in 37 countries. The list of countries is typical, most of them are European countries, but there are also locations in the Middle East, South Africa and Asia-Pacific regions. At the same time, there are only 6 countries with more than one location the USA, UK, Spain, Germany, Canada and Australia. Also, SecureLine offers 8 P2P optimized servers for torrenting and 6 servers for streaming in European and USA locations. In apps for iOS and Mac, there is IPsec connection protocol available, where other platforms users can connect only via the OpenVPN protocol. Also, for all platforms, there is Mimi own Avast protocol with increased possibility to bypass government and regional VPN restrictions. In total, SecureLine has apps for Windows, Android, iOS and macOS platforms. Also recently was added support for Android TV, especially for Smart TV, Nvidia Shield TV and Mi Box. You can not set up secure line on Linux, routers and other specific platforms. I think it's a small disadvantage because their competitors successfully use the OpenVPN protocol to make their services available even on game consoles. From the security side, Avast VPN provides standard industry options for their users, protecting all the data with SSL and 256-bit encryption. Such features keep your private information from any attempts to steal or decrypt it while being transmitted through servers. The servers also provide reliable built-in protection against DNS leaks to keep your data confidential. Such a feature is even more attractive to smartphone users. Also, their apps have a kill switch option, which protects users from identity leaks during unexpected reconnection to VPN servers. But I should notice that kill switch is disabled by default. To act Activated, go to Settings, VPN Mode and take it to Enable. From modern VPN features, there's Smart VPN Mode. It's a set of rules for automatically launching VPN connections when some pre-configured conditions appear. SecureLine supports the following conditions. Connecting to a public network, opening torrent apps, visiting banking sites and video streaming. Also, there are a wide list for trusted sites, services and networks, which make for them exclusion from smart rules. In the privacy protection area, Avast Secure Line is fine too. It doesn't store your activity information in the logs as soon as you have connected to the selected server, so they support no logs policy. This VPN does not track visited websites, viewed content and even the applications you use. Logical if there is no information left after parts, no records, no one gets to know about what resources you have visited. Despite all these options, the amount of protection features is not big, especially in comparison with other VPNs on the market. It may be caused by Avast Politics, where SecureLine is a part of complete secure solution together with their antivirus and other software. But this limits SecureLine developing and widening the gap with VPN industry leaders. At the same time, SecureLine has all standard protection features from encryption to kill switch option. And now it's time to check them. As SecureLine offers a lot of servers, I will use the server proposed as best location for me. The test will be the same as in a previous reviews for VPN on our channel, so everything is fair. I will start testing with checking server performance. With the help of speed test by Oogla, I measure the ping, download and upload speed. SecureLine operates at high speed while surfing the internet, with ping 48 milliseconds, download speed 97 megabits per second, and upload speed 84 megabits per second. To check this result, I also used another internet speed test server called Broadband. So I ran this test and got the following results 37 ping, 100 megabits per second download, and 86 megabits per second upload speed. While well, this test showed even better results than Oogla, and one of the best results among tested for our channel VPN services. Using browser leak services, I performed safety tests to detect leaks that might lead to revealing the real location of the user. First of all, I will check it for IP leaks. So on the internet, we look at a user from Turkey, which is good because our real IP is different. But as you see, it differs from the location selected in secure line. It is not good, but as our real IP wasn't disclosed, this test is passed. Next potential leak channel is a geolocation feature available as part of HTML. A lot of site owners use it to automatically describe your location and adapt website language or offer for your country. Detected location is 
is equal location in VPN. So test best. And as I promised, I will test the secure line desktop app for web RGC leaks. Let's select the corresponding instrument to launch it and we we'll see the real IP is still hidden. So this test has passed but leaves an unanswered question about web RTC protection structure in our secure line. DNS leak. The fifth and the last safety test will be about DNS leak. Here I usually use DNS leak test site with extended testing mode. Launch it and we we'll see that it passed too. Next, I will test IP for a blacklist. There are several lists that include IP addresses that have bad history, for example, spamming. My your email providers, site administrators exchange this data and, to protect customers, block access to their networks with these IPs. The service by MX Toolbox check the IP in 82 different databases at once. Secure line pass the test with 81 addresses unlisted. In general, I can say that VPN uses clean IP addresses. As a vast secure line proposes P2P optimized servers, I decided to test them too. First, I launched torrent with the current server proposed as the best location and I get speed up to 6 megabits per second, which is equal to nearly 50 megabits. Next, I compare it with the nearest P2P server, which is located in Prague. So I reconnect to this server and launch torrent download again. The maximum speed which I got was up to 7 megabits per second, which is near 56 megabits. It looks that P2P is not efficient, but you shouldn't ignore the fact that the server showed better results despite it being further than the recommended server. The customer has to choose one from three subscription terms. Avast offers several different payment methods. You can choose how to pay, with one of the main bank cards, master, visa, etc or via PayPal. The anonymous payments are not accepted. The prices are based on the devices you install the app to, so if you visit the same page from the smartphone, you will get a better offer than the desktop users. In the past, there was a possibility to select a subscription for 5 or for 10 devices. Now, as you see, there is only one variant with different terms. If the subscriber chooses to use a secure line for a year, the subscription will cost $55.20 per year, meaning $4.60 for each month. The two-year subscription will cost $101, while for using SecureLine for three years, you will pay only $135. Also, I should note that there is still one variant to buy a secure line VPN and subscription for five devices. But bad news is in fact that it is available only as part of Avast One or Avast Ultimate, a premium Avast product which include VPN, antivirus, PC optimization software and other tools by Avast. So in fact, this subscription is more costly than any secure line offer for 10 devices. Avast Secure Line offers a fee 7-day trial without any limitations or payments, so the user could test it properly and decide which plan would be more suitable for their needs. You don't need to provide any payment information before the trial period expires. If we speak about technical support provided by Avast Secure Line, there are several things that need to be mentioned. For any technical question during the trial period, you will have to search for the information on the official site, which includes necessary amounts of installation, usage and functionality details. You can also try the forum to find a solution to a similar problem by other users. It can be quite challenging for more specific problems, so by making a paid subscription, you can contact technical support by mail. To be able to use this option, you'll have to provide the number of orders. Unfortunately, 7-day free trial users have no access to it. Still, after you have bought a subscription, you can have your money paid back on request within 30 days. For this, you need to contact technical support during these 30 days to get a refund. In addition, the user must disable regular automatic payment in their account otherwise and service might continue to charge a subscription. The Avast Secure Line technical support does not presuppose 24-7 option or live chat. All problems are dealt with after subscription with personal emails, pros and cons and verdict. Among obvious pros of Avast Secure Line VPN is speed and security while working on the internet. The user receives protection against data leaks, is in safe networks, the ability to choose preferred location and bypass geographical restrictions when accessing websites. My test showed that I had no reason to be afraid of insufficient protection against common potential leaks. As the interface and given functions are simplified, the use of a secure line VPN does not require any special knowledge or skills. 
it looks almost the same on any platform following traditional Avast design style. This VPN has a well-balanced network. It's not large, but their servers are in all important regions, except Antarctica. But it can be a disadvantage, because there is no VPNs overall. Also, they have servers balanced for torrenting and streaming, which is available as a part of basic subscription. And the last worth mentioning pros is flexible smart rules policy manager in desktop clients. And let's speak about the drawbacks. This VPN has a simply yet quite overwhelming menu. One separate tab for three connection protocol variants is too much in my opinion. In fact, all real options can be grouped in one, two tab instead of four or even five existing. Another issue is murky pricing policy. SecureLine has unfilled its subscription and now they differ only by terms. But if you try to purchase from the mobile phone, you will get a better offer than from the desktop. I want to know what I paid for and not create a set of devices with different OS to find the best offer. Overall, there are promo codes and discount for this. And the last drawback in the Secure VPN browser extension, in fact, is absolutely useless. It can't be used without a desktop app and SIM connection with it, so double hop connection is impossible. So as I said earlier, SecureLine VPN has a great potential, as it's part of a vast, one of the best antivirus vendors. But it looks like its development is limited by a vast trading policy, where SecureLine is not an independent product. So it's best to use it as a part of a vast software bundles. But I should note that if you search a really trusted VPN for easy everyday use, that is just what you need. So it was all for today. See you soon and goodbye.